This is Larry Jordan, the host of the Digital Production Buzz. The following interview is an excerpt from a recent program. To hear the entire program, visit digitalproductionbuzz.com. Wendy Woodhall co-founded the Los Angeles Post-Production Group in 2008 with her husband, Woody, and serves as the organization's executive director. She's been in the entertainment industry for more than 20 years in various capacities, including television production, publicity marketing, and product placement, including, which is what we're going to talk about tonight, co-founding the brand new LA Post Festival. Hello, Wendy, welcome. Hi, Larry. Hi, Mike. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, Wendy. Oh, it's Hi. Always fun. Mike has been talking about this interview since he got into the studio today. <laughs> he said, "Finally, someone that understands how to run a user group." Yeah, so, exactly. Wendy's uh, one of the Wendy's one of the best. <laughs> well, I can't believe I can't believe that you guys have been in existence now for eight years. That's incredible. Oh, we're going, yeah, we're we're creeping up there. It's not amazing. That is amazing. Wendy, I know we've talked with you in the past about LAPPG, the LA Post-Production Group, but what I want to focus on today is why you decided to create the LA Post-Festival. Excellent question, Larry. <laughs> so, as you know, we've been running the group for a while now, and over the time we found that so many of the tools have become accessible to the general public. Um, we also realized not everyone... Um, has access to professionally shot footage, especially outside of L.A. So we wanted to create a festival to allow everyone from, or anyone from anywhere who has the skills um, to be able to tell a story. And so we wanted to create something that was like an apples-to-apples -apples comparison. That was sort of the genesis of this. We also um, based it off of something similar Woody did, my partner, um, he had done something in theater where he gave 10 different pairs the same script and asked them to create a scene. And it was amazing just the different things people were able to do and how creative people were. And that's really what we wanted to get from this. Um, and we also really wanted to spotlight post-production. As I'm sure you guys will agree, we're often the unsung heroes, and we thought this would be a great way to put us in the spotlight, as well as to discover some talent that we don't necessarily know about yet. Well, one of the things that struck me is that with the festival, you're providing footage for the, uh, the entrance to use. Why, mm -hmm. did you describe, why did you decide to provide the footage? Because I know you said professionally shot, but who shot mm -hmm. it? And what are you okay. giving them? And what genre did you decide to pick? Great question. So we chose a sci-fi genre. Um, we thought that that really lent itself to people being creative. Uh, Woody directed it, and he directed it in a specific way so that he did three different emotional um, readings of everything. So people would really have different things to choose from as they're editing this. Um, that's, and we shot that last spring. And the festival actually launched in November. So that was sort of the, that's how we went about it. We shot the film, and then um, we're letting everybody else uh, finish it. It's so cool. We're looking at pictures now of, of Woody standing in front of the green screen with the actor, and then we're also looking at one of the cameras. And then uh, we have a second shot here where we see the mm -hmm. actors standing on the green screen with a background superimposed over them and some of the sample backgrounds. What, where did you get the artwork you used here? Well, so what, what we did was we reached out to some um, people that we thought would be excited about this. Black Magic Design came on right away. They um, supported us. We shot on the Ursa, which was just fantastic to use. Andrew uh, Perot was our DP, and he loved shooting on that. Um, and then we reached out to the European Space, um, I'm sorry, the European Southern Observatory, and they gave us those amazing images um, that people can use uh, to, in the green screen when they're doing compositing. Um, and uh, Sony Creative Music came on board, uh, Sony Creative Software came on board to deliver us music. And so we're really lucky that so many people were supportive this first time around. 
Well, a contest implies that you've got judges who's judging mm -hmm. the, uh, the results, and uh, how did you find them? Okay, well, most of the judges, actually all of the judges are friends of ours through LAPPG, and um, we have Digital Production Buzz's own uh, Serena Catania, of course, the fabulous woman that she is. Um, we have Tony or uh, Orsina from Modern Family. He's the editor of Modern Family. We have Stephen Saltzman, who's the music editor on, uh, most recently on The Revenant. Um, wow. We have Juan Cabrera, who did the stereoscopics on Star Wars The Force Awakens. And we have Jane Miracle, who's a very talented Emmy Award winning editor. And then a friend of yours, Larry, Norman Holland, <laughs> a USC film school professor, is lending us his time as well. Wow, that's a really good group of people. Exciting, right? Yeah. We're, we're very excited for that. Oh, yeah. Um, and Nor a good group of people and Norman. And Norman, yeah. <laughs> a good group of people and Norman, yes. <laughs> Norman's amazing. I enjoy working with him. What criteria are you giving the judges as they look at these? And how many entries do you have so far? Well, we are giving judges, I mean, they, they're looking at these in different ways. We're choosing, we're giving five awards. We're doing best editing, best use of sound and music, best visual effects, best use of assets, and best film. So they're really looking overall, who's telling the best story? Um, that's what we really want to get through here. If the king isn't perfect, um, that's something that can be fixed. The five winners, well, in their prize package, they're going to have their films um, met, mixed at, in surround at 48 Windows, um, mastered at uh, Kinetic Studios, and then it will be um, screened here in Los Angeles at the festival. Wow. So, yeah, so that's, that's you know, we're going to have the judges look overall, but also who's telling that story? Because so much of post-production, so, so much of storytelling is done in post-production, and that's what we want to sort of spotlight in this. Yeah, what's going to be really tough for a lot of these, especially uh, new filmmakers, is they, they have to know everything. They have to know story. They have to know editing. They have to know visual effects. They have to know sound. They have to know music. And they have to put that all together into this, uh, into this, uh, this uh, contest that you are doing. And it's going to be, it's going to be tough for these people. It is. You know, I, it, it is challenging. It is a challenge. Um, but that's a really good point. I'm glad you brought that up, Mike. So... What you can do if you don't have all of those skills is you can form a team. So it's ah. one person who enters, but you can have somebody work on your sound. You can have somebody work on the, you know, visual effects. And that way you can sort of pick people with their strong suits and make it work that way. What's involved in entering? Is there an entrance fee and what do people have to do? There is. There's an entrance fee and it's pretty, it's simple to enter. You go to our website. Um, I think we still have three weeks left on the standard rate. Um, then it bumps up just a little bit that last week. You have to be able to work really fast if you're going to enter in the last week, though. Yeah. But you still have a month. You know, that's, that's plenty of time to enter this challenge. Um, what happens is you go to the website, you pay the fee, and then we send you the login information. You go to Collaborate, um, which is our um, cloud asset management system from Digital Rebellion, and you can download everything there. They'll be able to download, like, the line script and the music and the footage and anything else that they need. I'm curious, since Woody actually shot all of this, has he put it together into his own little movie yet? That's a great question. We, <laughs> yes, he, he, he's done his version, his quote director's cut. All right. Um, one thing I think that's going to happen, though, what, I mean, one thing that we're planning on is once the five films are chosen, five winning films, he will go back and work with these filmmakers to bring them, you know, to, to make them as, as strong as they can. And we're really excited. We're really excited for that. What happens if they're better than Woody's? That is definitely a possibility. I know. There you go. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. All right. <laughs> Wendy, for people that want to be able to enter or be able to keep track of what the LA PPG is up to, where can they go on the web to learn more about the contest and the group? Sure. Thank you. The, the group is LAPPG.com. It's free membership. You don't have to live in LA. If you do live in LA, we hold um, meetings once a month. 
But we've had job boards. We have discount offers and lots of other opportunities online. And the contest? So the contest, LAPostFest.org, and all the info is there. LAPostFest.org, and Wendy Woodhall is one of the co-founders of the LA Post Festival, as well as LAPPG. Wendy, thanks for joining thanks, us today, Wendy. and have great fun with this. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. To stay connected and receive updates from The Buzz, sign up for our free weekly newsletter now. Or you can learn more about us on our website. And thanks for watching The Digital Production Buzz.